Okay, everybody, welcome back to Baking with Candy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel below, and I also have the recipe down below, but I have the two sticks of butter in here. Um, you have to make sure that it's soft. You know, it's soft to the touch. You want it to be room temperature. You don't want to melt it. If you do have to put the butter in the microwave because you have to go, put it in about increments of five, six seconds, and then you could take it down from there depending on how soft it is. Do not put it on one or two minutes and open the door every five, six seconds because the butter will melt very quickly and you don't want it to be melted. So in my bowl, I have two sticks of softened butter and I also have three-fourths cup of brown sugar and three-fourths cup of white sugar. I'm going to go ahead and start mixing that. And then I also have um, the vanilla already in my egg. So once this is mixed in, I'm just going to drop the eggs in one at a time, and the vanilla is already in here. So once that mix, I'm going to drop the other eggs in. Now I normally just break, make sure I scrape all the eggs off the bowl because since I crack them in here, you don't have to crack them in here, but I do just in case you get an eggshell or anything like that in here. And I use light brown sugar. Um, just in case you didn't hear me, I use light brown sugar. Um, it'll change the color of your cookies. So after I mix that all in, I just scrape here and I always loosen the bowl and scrape around. Make sure I get the bottom and inside the bowl because it's, you want to make sure it's all mixed in. So I mix this one more time. I could you could increase the speed just a little bit to make sure it is well incorporated. Once it's all the way mixed in, I do my dry ingredients. I already have my I already have my two and one fourth cups of flour in here, along with my teaspoon of baking soda and my one teaspoon of salt. I put it all in the sister and just mix it all in. And then that way you don't have to make sure that it's mixed in well with the flour. Let it just mix as you sift. And then once that's done, I just dump my dry ingredients in here. You could do it a little bit at a time if you want, but I just dump all of my dry ingredients in here all at once. Then I just give it a little stir because if I don't, it'll go flying everywhere. So I stir it up a little bit before I mix it again. So go ahead and mix this one more time on low speed. Once it's all mixed in, I increase my speed a little. So I'm going to increase the speed and I'll mix it for about 30 more seconds. And after I do that, 30 seconds, I make sure that I scrape the sides of the bowl, get the bottom, and mix it one more time for about 30 seconds to make sure it's all in there and it's well incorporated. 
So, and then we're finished. My cookie batter. I level it off and then I push with a spatula. So scoop the cookie batter, level it off, scrape it on the end of the edge of the bowl. I get all of it on the spatula and then I just push down. And space the cookies out. Get some off the edge because you don't want the bowl to get too heavy or to tip over. And I know we're making chocolate chip. But the reason my dough is plain is because some people order them without the chips. I know it's no longer chocolate chip. But it's like a sugar cookie. But they like it because... In the chocolate chip ingredients, we have brown sugar, and in sugar cookies, we don't. So, a lot of people like it this way without the chips. And I like, I make them however my customers like them. So, once you get them all on the pan, you could go ahead and stick them in the oven. I make about 20 on one sheet, and I have a big sheet. I purchased this from BJ's. So, it fits the whole top rack of the oven. So I don't have to do mine on multiple sheets. I could get all of them in at one time. Or at least half of the batter in at one time. So, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you didn't once um, before in the beginning. Go ahead and subscribe now. And I'm going to have a lot more videos for you all to watch coming up soon.